Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be here. I'm bringing you a giant thrift haul. Before we get into it, if you love thrifting or you just love the environment, you love seeing thrift hauls, you like thrift tips or just everyday life things, make sure you subscribe and follow along. Let's get into it. Yesterday, went to the bins. I usually go into the bins with two Ikea bags. I ended up getting four giant bags. I have my four bags right here. Everything's already washed, but then I put them back in the bag so I can go sort through them. I have bins that I'm going to sort through everything, decide like what I'm listing, what's going for story sales. And yeah, so let's just get into it. Bag number one. We're off with this amazing jacket. This is by Artka. Artka? I don't know, but I loved the embroidery so boho. I loved this jacket so much. This one I think is going to be a good one for a story sale and to list, of course. I'm going to put that over here in my story sale bin because I'll do story sale with it first and then it will list. I'll list it later. This is a Pilcro Thermal. has ruffle sleeves. I'm going to have this one be a Valentine story sale. So I'm going to put that in a separate bin for a different drop. This was a good find. This is a Lululemon activewear dress, like a teal color, and it still has the size dot in it, which is great. This one, I think I'll probably just end up listing, so I'll put this in a list bin. Same with this one. This is an Athleta activewear dress and has like that nice spandex material. I'm going to list this one as well, so I'll put that in list bin. I loved the pink color of this running room breaker. It has some flaws. It needs kind of it needs more of an extensive stain treatment. So I'm gonna put this one in a pile to have further stain treatment done to it. I found a few amazing vintage pieces that I love. However, this is gonna need some more stain treatment. Let me know if you have any tips or tricks on getting like yellowing out of clothes. I don't know if even that's something that you can do, but this one's so vintage. It's so cool, this windbreaker pullover, but it does have like yellowing down at the bottom that I really want to try and get out. So let me know if you have tricks and tips on that. I'm gonna put this one in the stain treatment pile. I'm also just sitting on my living room floor because I literally don't have space anywhere else to be doing this, which is just the reality. I, I ship everything out of our garage, but it's not comfortable in there to like sort through inventory. So I'm going to sort this massive amount of inventory in here and then I'll bring it out to the garage for shipping. Found my husband Dickies. I don't know if these are for sure going to fit him because I think they're a size too small maybe. So we'll see. I might end up having to list them, but these were like a green color, just your classic Dickies pants. And then I also found the, the same, but in a brown. Like, what a good find. These are so stylish. People love them. So I'm going to put that in a pile for him. This was such a good find. Oh my gosh. This was Amanda Uprichard. So pretty. Are you kidding? Look at this little blouse. It's like the gingham print. I love and Amanda Uprichard. She's going to get listed. And this Fila sherpa pullover it was in like like new condition there's no like matting or anything this i'm gonna have be for a story sale i'm gonna put that in story sale pile oh love this one this is free people i found quite a few free people pieces this time which i was obsessed with a flowy lace tunic which is so pretty i love the white and just like the lace detailing of it this one's gonna get listed for sure but i'll also include it in a story sale first to see if it sells over on Instagram. So we'll put that in the story sale pile. We're almost done with first bag. Found these Abercrombie and Fitch pants. These ones I had to pick up because I wanted to see if I could get this out. They do have a little flaw. This like, there's like a little yellowing right here. It's almost, it's like a perfect circle. I'm like, what the heck happened? What was set on these? But um, I already like washed everything and I tried to spray Oxy on those, but we'll have to try something else to see if I can get it out. Otherwise I'll just list them as is. It's very subtle and these are a good style. They're the mom high rise. So these I'm gonna put in the stain treatment pile and see if we can get it out. Otherwise they'll just get listed with the flaw. Okay, one bag down, let's go to the next one. Oh, these I think I'm going to end up keeping because they're just so my style and I really am into flowy pants constantly. Uh, these are airy and they're cotton gauze, that gauzy material, wide leg 
pants. They have slits at the bottom. These are just beachy and with us living by the beach right now, perfect. So I think I'm going to set these aside for myself. I, I don't usually keep things, but if it's something like that where I'm trying to like revamp my closet anyways, might as well keep it. It's thrifted. It was cheap. I'm keeping it for myself. <laughs> anyways, next we have these biker shorts from Urban Outfitters. I thought these were super cute and good really good material and I liked the detailing on them. So these are going to be in a story sale and then I'll obviously list them as well. This is such a cozy like new, I think it came out like two years ago, American Eagle hooded sweater. This one I loved. And it's so cozy. This is for sure going to be a story sale one because sweaters usually do pretty well on my Instagram stories. We have this. This is just an Amazon active jacket but it's so soft and just seems like really good material it kind of reminded me of like lulu vibes so i had to pick it up on a story sale and then be listed oh this one's so cute this is tommy Bahama. i found this very last minute it's like a ribbed i think this is men's but we love a good men's oversized pullover so good this one i'm going to put in a story sale and then list it it it's just a nice green color too. You guys, this find, I'm like, how this, I actually went back in the room after I had what I thought was everything. And I was like, let me just take one more lap, see if I find anything. Glad I did because look at these freaking overalls. I need to stand up. They're so cute. And to make them even better, they're free people overalls. They're unfortunately for me, they're my size. I don't think I'm going to keep them though, because I don't wear overalls enough in a story sale and then be listed most. Okay. So here's my deal with sorting things, story sale versus just getting posted. Some things, some things I pick up just based on like the brand and it might not necessarily be my style, but it's something that I know will obviously resell on other platforms for my story sales. I really try and pick up pieces that I really love and want to share with people and give people really good deals on. If it's something that I know, like the Amanda up Richard, I'm not going to post that on a story sale because it's just, I'm going to price it accordingly. And I found that on story sales, people don't usually want to spend like tons and tons of money on designer pieces. So that one will just be listed. Of course, anyone on Instagram can always shop like my Poshmark or make me offers or whatever, but that's kind of how I go about it is I try and keep the things that I just list as like, I don't know, does that make sense? I kind of, I don't know if that even made any sense, but that's my logic behind going between a story sale versus just listing an item. We have these workout shorts. These are people dupes. They're the all in motion ones from Target, but these will be a good like spring piece coming up and they were a great color. So those would be a story sale. We have these flare like mom style pants from Old Navy. These ones were new with the tag and then I accidentally ripped the tag off when I was going through things. Story sale for these. Bummer. These are Levi's 501s and I grabbed these very last minute and it was on my way out and they're ripped in places where you obviously don't want rips and where it's hard to repair. So these honestly might end up just getting donated back or let me know if anyone has tricks on repairing or if it's even worth keeping those but when it's ripped in that area i feel like they're kind of a lost cause so i'm going to set those aside in a different pile you have this hoodie this one i need to go in and pull this back out the drawstring this is just reflex it's just like a i liked the color of it and it was a nice basic so i'm gonna put this one in a story sale it'll probably go for pretty cheap it's not like a great brand or anything oh there's an oil stain on it so see this is why i go through everything because after i wash it i might have missed flaws this one i see has an oil stain so i'm gonna set this in the stain treatment pile love these these are by roxy and they're linen wide leg pants they're so cute these will go in a story sale i love finding pieces that will be perfect for like the upcoming season. And we're almost to that point where people will start shopping for spring and summer, which is my favorite. Another pair of Dickies for my husband. These are like khaki color. We found, ooh, these were good. These don't have rips in them. These were Levi's 501s. And they're a mid-rise, which is pretty in. And just like a nice straight leg has distressing. 
501s are expensive, so that was a good find. Those will put these straight into being listed, and then maybe I'll share them on my Instagram story and see if anyone's interested just that way. I don't know. We have this. This is another men's, but it's Polo by Ralph Lauren. Pullover, which I thought was so cute. This one I'm going to put in the Valentine's drop just for fun because it's red. You can wear it on Valentine's Day if you want, or you don't have to, but I just really liked it. And I know that this brand is like trendy and fun to wear. Another bag done. Okay, let's go into the laundry basket. This was what was in my IKEA bags. And then I just obviously kept them in the laundry basket when I had washed everything. This is not from the bins. This is from the other day. I'm just going to do the bin stuff right now, but in another video soon, I'm going to go through the things that I thrifted just this week. Okay, now we're to the bins items. Found these White House Black Market work pants. I was so shocked with how white these still were and their boot cut. So I thought that was really trendy and so perfect. They're really nice quality for someone that you know, needs a good work pant. I will probably show these on a story sale and then I will list them. This one I might end up keeping for myself. I have to try it on and see if I can figure out a way to style it. It's not a like great brand or anything. I don't even know the brand, but it's a really cute button up cardigan, which are so in right now. And I've really been trying to my style game and up my wardrobe. I'm going to clean out my closet. That's a video coming soon too. I have all these ideas. I just need to get on them. So it has like wider sleeves. So I might end up keeping this one. I'm going to put it in my maybe keep pile over here. This dress was pretty much brand new. It's billabong and it's size large, just a gorgeous midi with the smocking like longer dress it's so pretty with the flowers this one will be for sure be in a story sale and then get listed we have almost everything for story sales which is great for me i like when i can just when i pick up pieces that are for all posting forms <laughs> this might be going in someone's bundle this was a really nice listed jacket like zip up by three dots which is a great brand and it's so soft and cozy and it kind of fits this minimalist vibe of this person's bundle that I'm working on so I'm going to set this aside and it might go in her bundle this is a good one another good one this was another one that I found that I went back around and was just checking through the bins because I needed to find a couple more pieces I found this this is free people beach this gorgeous waffle knit pullover it's so thick and so good and I'm just obsessed. I'm really happy. This goes with a set, I'm pretty sure. I actually know for sure this is part of a set, but even just like having the pullover is great. So that'll be in a story sale. I love this one. This one's going to be hard for me to part with, and I'm so shocked. This pullover was covered in stains. Covered. So I grabbed it on a whim because I oh cute colors of this are just like so me and I just am obsessed with it it's so it's vintage and it's a size large and it's really cozy but again it had stains and I wish I would have taken a picture of it before but I unfortunately didn't I stain treated it last night and then threw it in the wash and the stains all came out and now it's just a beautiful beautiful piece so this one will go in my closet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I want it to go in my closet. This one will go in a story sale and then be posted. We have a Nike hoodie. Perfect little white Nike piece. It has a little stain down here, which I already tried to get out, but we'll put it in the to be treated pile and maybe I can scrub that one a little bit more and get it out. This is a fun vintage piece. There was someone that was needing to go through the bin that I was going through. And he's like, if you end up putting that back, I'll take it. And I was like, okay, well, now that you asked me for it, I probably really am going to keep it <laughs> um, because that means it's something. But this vintage, this is true vintage. It has cats with coffee and wine and a beer in a freaking hot tub and it says hot tub in at the bottom and then it says no dogs are you joking me this is amazing and then on the back the back is even better it's the back of them i loved this piece it had quite a few stains on it and i think there are still probably yeah there's still a few that i missed but it looks like i'm pretty pleased yeah there are some that i missed and i need to go back through and spray out so like see 
on the sleeve there's like some yellowing but there were way more and even up on the collar it was really covered in stains and i stain treated it last night and a lot of them came out but i did miss a few so i'm gonna put this in the to be treated pile but how good is that piece okay classic tommy bahama these do pretty well for me on depop so i'm gonna list this one it's just like a, a casual button up they're 100 silk and are pretty i don't know this color was really good the sage green so this will be just listed this one will not be a story sale item I don't normally pick up kids pieces, but here specifically, the kids pieces are really cheap. They're not included in that 15 for 25. They're their own separate price. So I found a few Zara, I think just like two Zara kids pieces and I had to grab them. This little Zara jacket, how cute is this little pea coat? I just straight list it, honestly. I wanna keep my story sales cohesive. But if anyone's watching this and you see my kid Zara piece and you want it, let me know. <laughs> let me know in the comments if you know how to tell if Lululemon scubas are real or fake. Size, the tag is complete, it's cut out of it completely. To me, looks authentic. Like I was comparing the logos online with this one and it does look authentic to me and that was one way that it said that you could tell and regardless a scuba maybe real lululemon maybe not but a really good style really thick material and a really pretty color and it has the thumb holes and everything down here too so let me know if you guys know how to determine if scubas are authentic or fake because that will tell me how i'm gonna list this i obviously don't want to price something at that's not authentic I need to cut this bin really quick so I can get another one. Hold on. Hold on. Also, they have these bins. Well, they did a couple weeks ago. I, I doubt now that I'm posting this. They'll have them still, but they had them at Costco and they were a pretty good deal. So, okay, now I have another bin available. This is a good find. This is a Lululemon poncho. It's so good. So soft. I know this is true Lulu because it's so soft. And it still has the Lululemon tag. And it seems like someone didn't even really wear this. This had one oil stain on the back, but it looks like it came out when I washed it yesterday. So that's great. This one, I, mm -hmm, I think I'll do a story sale with it. Yeah, story sale. Give my girlies on Instagram a chance if they want it. There's a little Lulu, Lulu tag at the bottom. Give them a chance if they want it first, and then I will list it if no one wants it. I don't know. I go back and forth. Okay, yeah. Done. Let's do the final bag. Again, you guys, this was one bins trip. One, one bins trip. And I still have some things from the rest of the week that I need to show you that I got from other places. I went to the other bins. I didn't get that many pieces, but I got a few. And then I also went to Salvation Army, so I have pieces that I need to show you too. So, all's coming. This is gorgeous. It's gonna be in my Valentine's sale. It's Karma Highway, which is a great brand dress. One size fits most on this, but how gorgeous is this? It has flowers and butterflies, and it's really pretty. It's very boho and just beautiful, and the material is amazing. It's really soft. This will for sure be the Valentine story sale. Got some more just like dress pants for my husband. Again, I don't think these are going to fully fit him, so I might end up having to list them. But I think I got him like three pairs, unfortunately. I'm going to put these aside. They're just Dockers brand, but he's always needing good dress pants for like when we go out. This is another kid's piece, Zara. Little denim button up. So cutie. Ugh, I can't wait to have babies and just style them. I think it's going to be so fun to thrift for them. He listed... This is going in this one i need to steam <laughs> i washed it but then with linen pieces wash them i think i must not have taken it out of the dryer right away or something but it's a little right it's very wrinkly so this is zara though it's an extra small pink linen button up which i just thought was cute the, the sleeves roll up but i need to steam it so i'm still going to put it in the valentine story sale bin but obviously i will know to steam that <laughs> it's very wrinkly loved this this is a corduroy cropped little pullover by urban outfitters bdg will be a story sale piece this one was just like a fancy dress and i was thinking this brand actually does pretty decent it's the brand scarlet and just a formal black dress this is one that i will just be listing and not be doing a story sale with this is a piece that i grabbed for myself i've been needing some more button-ups for layering and this was just like a nice black 
button up that is in my size. So I'm going to keep this one again, trying to expand my style. So I'm trying to get good layering pieces. You guys, I love this dress. Okay. This is going to, I know I'm going to put this on and be like, I'm keeping this, but I won't. I'm going to list it. I'm telling you now that I'm listing it to keep myself from keeping it because it's gorgeous. We'll see. I might try it on and then decide later. Maybe I'll wear it once, get it out of my system because it's already used anyways, and then I will list it after or do it in a story sale. This gorgeous smocked puff sleeve Zara dress. How beautiful is this? She's beautiful and she has embroidery and she's just gorgeous and I love and I'm obsessed. Next, this one needs steam too. It is another linen. I think it's linen. Let me look. I can feel it and I know. Yeah, 55% linen, but it's this Madewell. Madewell sage green linen blazer. How cute is this? It's kind of hard to tell because it's it needs steamed or ironed, but it's so cute. The color is great. This is going to be one for a story sale and then I will list it. Another free people piece. This one's waffle knit and has the wide sleeves. It's a light purple color has some distressing on it. Look at those sleeves. It's so cute. And this one's a size small, but is very oversized. This will be a story sale. My girlies on Instagram love free people pieces and as they should, because I do too. And I love picking up free people pieces. This, I don't know if these are vintage or not, but they're city jeans that brand there. This is a medium. I just thought this was really stylish. I honestly might try this on too and see if I like it. I don't have like any good skirts at all. So this would be a good classic closet staple. So I'm gonna put that in my try on pile. And then if it doesn't work for me, then it will be story sale and then to be listed. These are really good Mona B leggings and they were just really nice material and the pockets always do me in. So grab these, they're like a nice light or like a dark blue with the light blue seams. These will be a story sale. Another Valentine drop piece. This is a full linen button up or button down. And I just thought it was so cute. I don't know why it's really funky. And so I was thinking just wearing this over like a black ribbed top or something would be adorable. I don't know why. This one, the brand is thing. I don't know. It just literally says linen on it. So it's not a good brand or anything, but I just thought it was really funky and cute and I had to grab it. So that'll be in the Valentine story sale. Same with this one, pretty much same explanation. I don't think this is any sort of brand, but the color was a red on the, on one side. I think it's reversible now that I'm looking at it. Yeah. Cause there's no tag. Did someone make this? Wait. Oh no, there's a tag. Okay. never mind. Size large. What does it say though? Made in the USA. I might try and do like a Google image search with this guy because I think it is vintage. Um, but it's really cool. This cowl neck pullover has the brown with the red pocket on one side. And on the other side, it's red with the brown pocket. It's so cute. I just thought it was funky, cute, matched my style for sure. And then this was another one that is going to go in a bundle box that I'm working on. It's this striped like plaid, but it has like a light pink color in it. Button up. I love these for layering over bodysuits or over tank tops. I just, I love a classic men's button down. And this matched uh, this person's Pinterest board quite well. So it's going to go in her box. Here's the other pair of pants for my husband that probably won't fit him unfortunately but we'll put them in the pile to try on and then the last piece wait I lied there's still a couple more that have the tags on them still I need to go grab to show you because I didn't wash those because they're still they are new with the tags I have these BDG Urban Outfitters mom jeans these are size 27 and then they're just like a really good style so I don't pick up I usually don't pick up skinny jeans unless it's like an amazing amazing brand but if it's a good style of denim, then I for sure pick it up. These I will put in a story sale and then to be listed. Yay. Just a few pieces and then I gotta go. Best stinking shirt ever. Just a classic black shirt and it has a hood. 
it's so soft. I can't even, I wish you could feel it through the screen. Size large, and this might honestly go in, actually, yes, this matches her vibe for sure. This is going to go in a bundle that I'm working on. This old navy dress has the tags attached still. I don't know how these dresses that still are brand new end up at the bins. It's mind-blowing to me. So a beautiful Wait, this is a romper? Oh, it's a romper! Even better! I thought it was a dress. I love rompers. Okay, cool. It's a romper. So this is going to go in the Valentine drop because it's red and still has the tags, which is great. And then I don't know how all of these pieces ended up. I have a few of them. Oh, wait, this is another one. New with the tags, a black top, but then it has these little like ruffle sleeves, which I thought was so cute. And this one, again, was going to go in a bundle box. But now that I have that other black piece, I'm not sure. So let me put it over there and then I'll decide once I start piecing all the outfits together. And there were quite a few of these Simply Vera Wang items that still had their tags on them from Kohl's. And so I had to grab them if there were like no flaws on them. Are you even in the bins? I don't know. So the first one is this button up cardigan. There are a few that I didn't grab because didn't match my style at all. But this one I thought was just a classic little button up cardigan, new with the tags that will be in a story sale and then to be posted. And then here's another one, Vera Wang, Vera Wang. This one I thought was unique, button up vest type of situation. I thought that was pretty cute. So that will also be in a story sale. And that one is also brand new with the dang tags. Crazy to me. If you haven't been to the bins before, I highly recommend going at least once in your lifetime to see what it's like and to see all of these clothes. I truly think that you going to the bins will make you realize like, dang, I should be thrifting. Like the amount of clothing at the bins at one single bins is mind blowing. And the fact that after the bins, most of that clothes goes straight to the landfill is so crazy to me and so sad to me. There's so many new with tag pieces that just end up getting dumped in landfills, which is so, so crazy. I'll say that a million times. Okay. Last item for real this time. Ann Taylor new, like, look, new with tags, $95. How? This is at the bins. Beautiful red blouse. This is a perfect Valentine's top. So this is going to go, of course, you guessed it, in the Valentine drop bin. Made it through four bags. So let's see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know if you like these longer style videos. This one was especially long, but I'm glad that you hung out with me. Again, make sure you subscribe, please. I'm trying to grow the subscribers and just this channel in general. Very excited for all the videos that I have planned and I'll see you next time. Bye.